Give me what I want. Yes, give him what he wants. AJ Styles is now channeling his inner Batista following channeling his inner Mark Henry following channeling his inner Randy Orton. Let me explain. So he returns jacked out of his mind, looking like he ate the former version of himself, a la Randy Orton, just what, weeks prior? Then he steals the flow of Mark Henry almost bar for bar with his fake retirement salmon suit speech, even wearing the pastel suit himself. I'll give you it was a different shade of the suit, but still, nonetheless, he did copy that swag, let's be real. And now he's out here stealing one of Bootista's, Blutista's most infamous lines, give me what I want. Now there's a pattern here for those of you keeping track at home, and the pattern is this. The Undertaker's WrestleMania match chronology. Randy Orton, Mark Henry, Batista, you know what comes next? Edge. So I expect AJ Styles to be channeling his inner rated R superstar very soon. What does that entail exactly? Following an Edge's steps could be anything from starting a relationship with Nick Aldis to further boost his career. Or maybe having a live sex celebration in the middle of the ring with the club. I'm not gonna judge, but AJ Styles, this is the route. Edge is next. Now Cody and AJ had a banger of a match at Backlash and I don't know how they're gonna follow it but an I Quit match certainly has me excited. Moving on to Monday Night Raw now, you've heard of Corporate Kane? Well get ready for Corporate Finn. Seriously, somebody has been reading the new TKO HR manual. He came to the ring to stomp out the flame of horniness that was going on between Liv Morgan and Dom and not a second too soon. Very reminiscent of Stevie Richards from the right to censor days if I do say so myself. And I say that as I'm cosplaying as him every single week in these videos. But I'm digging this. It's been a while since we had a good horny storyline in WWE. I think the last one I can think of was Lana and Bobby Lashley and uh, Rusev, but that, that, was, that was kind of a monstrosity. Plus, when you take into account the leaked text of Vince McMahon, you kind of get the feeling that he was maybe living out some of his fantasies through that storyline, which makes me want to throw up. But anyway, I'm just waiting for Dom to just give himself to live fully. We know he's going to do it, right, at some point. And Rhea Ripley is going to be the hottest baby face. I mean, people were cheering her already, so now she's got a legitimate reason to have the fans behind her. And yes, everybody's clamoring for the Dominic Mysterio custody on a poll 2.0 between Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan, I myself included. But I'd like to see just a few more instances of blocker Finn Balor coming to the rescue. Maybe a few HR PowerPoint presentations, backstage segments. Can we get some of those? I want to see right to censor Finn Balor, full-fledged, let's go. Now on a bit of a more serious note, Ricochet has reportedly informed the WWE that he will not be renewing his contract when it is set to expire. Now I gotta say, you gotta take all of these reports with a grain of salt. It seems like every week somebody's contract is expiring and it gets leaked out to the public. I don't remember this being a thing in the past, but it seems like every single week, Drew McIntyre, Chad Gable, now Ricochet, everybody's contract is in the news. I guess it's a good thing, right? It, we are lucky that we live in a competitive environment again for professional wrestling where guys can leave and go make money, they have leverage, they're getting paid, everybody's happy, right? Now, I made a video a couple weeks ago about superstars in WWE that I think would shine in AEW, and I mentioned Ricochet in there. I'll put a link to that video in the description. Now, would you believe that some people actually came at me and gave me crap for this? They said, why would Ricochet want to go to AEW? Why would he want to go down to the minor leagues? Well, I'll tell you then and I'll tell you now. A lot can be said about AEW and how they book talent. Maybe they don't do it the best, they don't have the most investing storylines there. Long-term storytelling has never been AEW's forte. As a matter of fact, storylines kind of take a backseat to in-ring product. The best wrestlers have the best matches, more often than not over in AEW. I'll stand by that. And Ricochet, WWE, as cool of an opportunity as it has been to see Ricochet under the big bright lights of WWE, he hasn't been utilized to his best potential. Just when it felt like he was starting to gain steam in that Logan Paul storyline that culminated in a match at SummerSlam, he fizzled out rather quickly. And again, I'm not saying that AEW would make Ricochet the face of their company and put him the most compelling storylines at all. No, I'm not saying that. But Ricochet is not being utilized at all in WWE. And in AEW, his in-ring work, that would be the story. The fact that you're able to put together these dream matches with Ricochet and some dream rematches with Ricochet versus Will Ospreay, Kenny Omega, The Bucks, Roddy Strong, Kyle O'Reilly, Orange Cassidy, Darby Allin, Jack Perry, MJF, Ray Phoenix, Pentagon, the list goes on and on. Ricochet has so many dream opponents over there in AEW and I think that in and of itself would be the storyline and that's why I think Ricochet going to AEW would be pure gold. It'd be the best opportunity for him to get the most out of this later half of his career. The guy is on the other side of 35 now. 
So go ahead, haters. Tell Ricochet he's making the wrong choice. He's going down to the minor leagues. I think this is a great opportunity for Ricochet to really own his craft and create a legacy for himself in the States that's going to live on beyond his career. He's already given us a hell of a legacy on the Indies in New Japan, but I think in AEW, just on pay-per-view television in the States, I, he could do things that will outlive his legacy when his career ends. But for your main event minute, this is Kyle Joe Riley signing off. Watch my WWE SmackDown vs. Raw Let's Plays, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.